Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. Slugs and their cousins, snails, are something that most gardeners are going to have to deal with eventually. Today I'm going to go over how to control these lettuce munchers organically. The first step to control slugs is monitoring. Just because your lettuce is looking a little like Swiss cheese doesn't mean you have slugs. Look for silvery mucus trails. Slugs will also chew irregular holes in the soft tissue between plant veins. Slugs and snails are usually nocturnal, but they will wander out from time to time on a moist, cool day. Head out at night with a flashlight and see if you can catch them red-handed or footed, as the case may be. If you have slugs or snails, the best way to deal with them are mechanical, cultural, and chemical controls. The first step is cultural controls. Remove any weeds or debris from your garden area. Slugs and snails like to hide underneath boards and rocks. Dense ground covers can be great hiding places for slugs and snails. If you can't move your dense ground cover, then just avoid planting your vegetable garden nearby. If you have a slug habitat, you can plant plants that they don't like. For example, they don't like rosemary and they don't like lavender or nasturtiums or California poppy. Replace overhead sprinklers with drip irrigation and that prevents moist surfaces which tend to attract slugs. Use coarse mulches. Slugs have a hard time with mulches like shredded cedar bark or cocoa shells. In addition to cultural controls, you can use mechanical controls like hand picking, traps, and barriers. To hand pick effectively, water the infested area in the afternoon to draw the slugs out. Then visit your garden with a jar and a flashlight after dark. Pick off and destroy all the slugs you find. You might have to do this every day initially, but once you reduce the populations enough, you'll probably only have to pick weekly. Use traps like this slug saloon. It's baited with non-toxic ingredients like malted barley and sucrose. Another good way to trap slugs is to deliberately leave a hiding place. You can either put down a six inch board or a piece of cardboard. Routinely turn these traps over and destroy the slugs that are hiding beneath. This ant and crawling insect killer is labeled to control slugs. It's made from diatomaceous earth, which is the fossilized remains of microscopic plants and animals. The tiny sharp edges lacerate the insect body and cause death by dehydration within 48 hours. This surface deterrent only works when dry. For a barrier that you can use when it is wet, try these slug shields made of copper. The copper reacts with the slug mucus and causes disruption to the slug's nervous system, similar to the slug being electrocuted. You can also make your own little mini fencing around your garden bed. Just use window screen, make it four inches tall, and bury it in the ground. You can combine your cultural and mechanical controls with a chemical control like this Sluggo slug bait. It's made from iron phosphate, and you can spread it out in the afternoon or in the evening. Don't pile the bait. Sprinkling is much more effective. I like this bait because it can be used on vegetables, and it's safe around children, pets, and wildlife when it's properly applied. Water the area after spreading the sluggo. This will encourage the slugs to come out and eat the bait. If you have chickens or ducks, they can be enlisted as an additional biological control. Ducks love to eat slugs and snails. Enjoy your lettuce that doesn't look like Swiss cheese. Get rid of your slugs and grow organic for life.